The Kiss song, I Was Made For Loving You, was a monster hit for the band, no pun intended. But Gene had some serious issues with this number. I had the good fortune to speak to the brilliant songwriter Desmond Child. And I got to ask him, uh, given that this song's huge success and the money it must have brought in for this band, what exactly was Gene's problem with it? The song came out that I co-wrote with Paul Stanley, I Was Made For Loving You, and we put hard rock guitars to a dance beat. Mm -hmm. Well, then came Prince, and guess what he had? He had girls in corsets, all made up, playing in his band, you yeah. know? And Madonna, and 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 then came, you know, Michael Jackson, and Beat It, and this whole, this whole other world of, that was un, not limited to that, you know, I am, you know, this macho, you know, working class hero. Sure. I mean, it's uh, you mentioned the, the song I Was Made For Loving You by Kiss. Uh, is it true that Gene didn't like the song because he felt it somehow polluted the, the Kiss brand? And, and, and did Gene present any problems for you? Well, you know, the song was so strong, he couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. But he did many times voice, you know, his uh, dislike for the song. And, you know, he just felt it was off brand, you know, for Kiss. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the I guess it was, though, wasn't it really? Well, you know, now it's it's sort of like that story of Picasso and Gertrude Stein. Mm -hmm. She she posed for this painting, he very famous painting he did of her 85 times, and she never got to see the painting. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, you know, right towards the end, and he was getting ready to show it to her, he erased the face because he had gotten way in, into cubism and repainted the face in angular, you know, in an angular style, but the rest of it was realistic, the sure. way the painting was. You know, he had that style as well. And, um, you know, the, finally, uh, she, she, uh, he lifted up the cloth so she could see it, and she said, that doesn't look like me. Mm -hmm. And he looked at her and he said, it will. <laughs> So the kiss, uh, you you kind of. <laughs> yeah. That's not my style. Well, it is now. <laughs> I was made for loving you is actually their biggest global international hit of all time. Yeah. It's now, I went to see um, their final show. Uh, it was December 2nd in Madison Square Garden. It was very emotional for me and everyone there. And of course, you know, Paul has his side of the stage and Gene has the other side of the stage. Paul's always, you know, state what we call stage left. Mm -hmm. Even if you're looking at it, he's on the right. And, um, you know, he kept looking up at us singing with the most, you know, like vulnerable face. You know, the, the, the show was truly majestic. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, I just love him to death. I mean, he, there would be no Desmond Child without Paul Stanley because he's the one that discovered me and gave me that chance. And we changed the course of pop music with that one song, unknowing. Yeah, you changed the course of history. Yes. And, <laughs> um, you know, one thing I did notice is that when he went to sing the song, before he sang it, he flew across the audience to the remote stage. That's right, yeah. And so I started, and then I looked over at Gene and I realized he can't even be on the same stage when that song is sung. <laughs> 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 but uh, I kind of, before I was hurt, you know, that he didn't like the song and he, in fact, went out and when they, they made this album called The Elder, where they didn't use any outside songwriters. And he yeah. said, we don't need outside songwriters you know, like Bon Jovi and Aerosmith, you know, uh, we we can do it ourselves. And in fact, we put two guards at the front of the studio door to keep Desmond Child out. <laughs> okay, he didn't say it once. He said it like a hundred times in a global publicity tour. And I started getting, you know, everybody was sending me these this quote. He said it the same way every time. And my feelings got hurt, so I called Paul up and I said, Paul, why would he slag? Why would he attack someone who's his, you know, who puts money in his pocket? Yeah, yeah. Who loves Kiss? 
there's so many enemies of Kiss that he could attack. Why me? He's like, oh, well, you know, Gene, I can't get, I, you know, Gene. I said, well, I don't. And I don't understand it. He said, I said, Paul, you were there when he was saying this stuff. Why didn't you speak up? He said, I can't control Gene. You know, I said, well, you know what? You can you can tell him to go F himself. All right. Yeah. And so, you know, it was not a very nice conversation. And Paul wasn't defensive at all. Well, a few hours later, when I got back and I checked my answering machine, when mm -hmm. we had answering machines, there was a four part, uh, four word um, message that said, hi, it's Gene. Sorry. Click. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the first time in his entire life he apologized for anything. Right. <laughs> and, um, you know, apology accepted. And I actually have become much closer to him. Every time I see him, he's very warm and he comes up to me. He's very, very, you know, kind of commanding, you know, he's already tall and then he wears high shoes. So I'm like almost six foot and he's like, you know, whatever, six foot four. And he uh -huh. looms over you with this hair that looks like, you know, like a helmet. Uh -huh. And he always like takes my hand and kind of crushes it like a little bit too much. And he comes nearer and nearer and nearer. And he says, you're a very handsome young man. <laughs> very, very talented. And then he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, yeah, that's certainly something, isn't it? I said, oh, God, there's Gene. Oh, wow. He's coming. He's walking towards me. And like, I go, oh, God, please don't squeeze my hand so hard. <laughs> that gets the point where you, you avoid him. <laughs> Maybe. I, I haven't really, but I, you know, I do have a lot of, um, you know, affection for him uh -huh. because even his disliking the song gave the song publicity and sure. made it bigger. So no. people go, well, let me see, let me see, let me hear this song and let's see, let's see why he doesn't like it. Well, guess what? By the end of the song, they love it. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> well, there you are straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. It was a pleasure to speak to Desmond Child. There'll be more clips from this interview coming soon. Desmond Child is uh, promoting his new autobiography, which is out now. There is a purchasing link just below this video. So I urge you to like this video, subscribe, please check that notification bell, it, the algorithm loves you when you do that. Other than that, hope you're well, staying safe, and of course that you keep listening. <laughs>